Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about girly topics and answering some of your questions, giving you guys some advice. I basically wanted to do a video like this for a really long time and I asked over on Instagram the other day for you guys to send me in some questions and I've got a load to answer. Um, I say this in every video, but I'm really sorry about the light. It's sunny one minute, cloudy the next minute, and it's super annoying, but we're just going to ignore it because there's nothing I can do. And also, sorry if I don't answer your question, maybe I've answered it in another Q&A or I don't really feel like talking about that. And the first question is, how long do you think it takes to get over someone now? That is a tricky question, my friend. I think it completely depends on every individual relationship. It depends on you as a person. It depends on how long you were together, how intense the relationship was, whether you like lived together, or there's a lot of different like factors that go into it. I've been in three proper relationships in my life, I would say. I had my first like proper official boyfriend that was kind of like an adult relationship, I guess. Um, and then I've had two more since then in my like adult life I suppose um, and every single one of them has been a complete different story when it comes to like getting over them and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I could make a whole video about this topic, I feel like I have so much to talk about in it but I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. Um, at the end of the day there is no set time on how long it's going to take you to get over somebody and I also think that the term getting over somebody is a really weird term. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you are truly in love with them, I a part of my brain kind of feels like that never actually goes fully so it's like there's getting over somebody as in like ready to move on to the next relationship, it's like in the back of your mind you don't think about it, you don't get upset about it, um, that can take a very long time but I do think if you're truly in love with somebody then those feelings never 100% go I think you're always gonna have a tiny tiny bit at the back of your mind um, that still like cares for that person because that's natural and I think you're always gonna have a little place in your heart for somebody if you have loved them people might disagree with that that might be like a bit of a controversial topic but for me personally that is what I believe um, I think getting over somebody in terms of like moving on to another relationship or getting ready to date again it is so different for every single person and every single relationship but it does take a long time it could take years for you to feel like fully over somebody and think about them without getting upset or crying that is just the way it is and like i said every relationship is so different but just be kind to yourself give yourself time and i promise you in a couple of years you will look back at this time of your life um maybe you're like upset over a breakup you will look back at it and it won't hurt as much as it's hurting now but it does take a really long time and that is one of the downfalls of relationships is when you break up and you're really heartbroken but it's life and it teaches you a lesson every single breakup that you go through teaches you a lesson and i tell you the first breakup will always be the hardest okay so somebody said i have a toxic friend but i've known her since we were babies how do i distance myself so that's a really hard one if you're friends with somebody and you've been friends with them since a really young age it's natural that you're gonna like feel pressure to stay at friends with them but if they are being toxic and they're not being a good friend to you or they're like making a, a bad impression on your life and they're not making you happy and they're bringing negativity into your life that you don't need you should not feel pressured to stay friends with them just because you've been with them a long time get out of that friendship um and if you don't want to like make a big deal of it maybe just stop messaging them and like kind of let it naturally drift out and like then you guys will naturally drift apart and you won't be friends anymore. Um, you don't necessarily have to have an argument about it. If they question you, just be honest with them and say, look, I don't feel like we are as close as we used to be or I don't think we um, are like compatible anymore. Maybe you want to say that you've like grown out of each other and you're just not sure that you work with each other's lives anymore. Don't turn it into an argument, but definitely don't feel like you have to stay friends with somebody just because you've been friends with them for a long time. Um, you're probably still really young in the grand scheme of things and you're gonna make new friends throughout the whole of your life and it doesn't mean that you have to stay friends with them. Somebody asked, do you think it's okay for your boyfriend to have girl best friends? Now this is such a difficult topic and I think again, everyone has really different opinions. My personal opinion on that, I think, um, I've never really experienced that to be completely honest with you, but I think what I would, say to you is that if your boyfriend 
had a friend that was a girl and they were friends before you guys got into a relationship then that's fine because they've been friends already there probably would have been the opportunity for something to happen between them and it didn't um so i think if they were friends before you guys got together then that's fine it should there should be no problems there if you're in a relationship with a guy and then they suddenly go and get close with another girl or like become friends with a new girl i think that is where there could be like a bit of a problem and i definitely don't think i'd be comfortable with that i think i would worry and be like why do you need another girl in your life if you've got me as your girlfriend like you don't need to be making new relationships with girls but then it's tricky because maybe if they've gone to uni and they are like meeting new people and they become friends with a girl it's really tricky and i think it all boils down to how much you trust that person um and i think just trust your gut if you've got a gut feeling that something isn't right then maybe talk to them about it explain why you don't feel comfortable with it um but just try not to make it into an argument because you don't want to come across like really jealous and you know but i'm sure it'll be fine but yeah that's my opinion on that um somebody asked advice for being with a boy for the first time if you haven't okay so so i remember being a lot younger and i remember like dating guys for the first time and i remember being with boys when i was younger and like feeling really scared about something happening um and like feeling really scared about like being intimate with a guy i would just give you the advice and say don't ever feel pressured to do anything um even if your friends are like doing stuff with boys if you don't feel ready to do it don't do it it should be nobody else's decision other than your own um as to how quickly you want things to move with a guy so if it's your boyfriend hopefully he'll be understanding with it and you can talk about it maybe like both of you are in the same situation and you've never really been like intimate with another person before so just talk about it um with them and see how they react don't ever feel pressured to do anything um talk to your friends about it if you are close with like your mum or your sister or you have somebody that you can talk to about things like that if you're worried talk to them um because it's a completely natural thing and you're gonna be like curious about it at some point in your life and i just think if you do feel like you're ready for that next step then of course go for it but just be careful and know that you can change your mind at any point because you say yes initially doesn't mean that you have to go through with it like just um make sure you're clued up on things and be careful and just enjoy it try and enjoy it don't worry about things too much um it's never good for the first time you know what i'm saying so somebody asked for dating and uni advice um i think i'm probably pretty good at answering this question so um bit of a backstory if you don't watch my videos then you're not going to know this so i'm just going to tell you guys now um so when i went to uni three years ago i went and i was in a relationship we broke up like really really quickly um and then i was single for the majority of first year um and i did enjoy going out and dating boys and having fun that kind of thing because i was at uni i was single why not um i think i downloaded tinder like as soon as i was single because i was like i'm in a new city i'm gonna talk to new boys um and i did date quite a few boys when I was in my first year but funnily enough none of them were actually at uni they were all like a lot older um which is just what I tend to go for in a guy um but yeah so I dated a few guys when I was at uni um but I think the main advice is whether they're like a uni student or not make sure that you are not allowing that to take up all of your time because you don't want to look back at uni and be like oh i wish i spent more time making friends or going out and having fun with like the people that i lived with or my course mates or whatever don't like waste all of your time doing that because boys will come and go and you can date throughout the whole of your life so don't make it a priority um and then i actually ended up with a guy who i lived with anyway so that was quite easy to date someone who i lived with um and again like advice for that because i think a lot of people do actually meet at uni and quite often meet in halls um because you're living within like such close proximities of each other and you really get to know each other on like a different level so it's kind of easy to like end up with somebody um when you're living with them and don't get me wrong it was fine it worked really well there was a couple of relationships actually in our flat which was odd um but yeah i would just say make sure you're not prioritizing that over like making friends or hanging out with other people and just enjoy it like i don't really think there needs to be much advice if you want to date at uni date at uni but don't let it 
affect your work and don't let it affect like making new friends and stuff because that's what you will regret what to do about friends that are negative a lot of the time and bring it down your mood so this is a really great question and i've definitely experienced this before um obviously everyone has like different mental health problems people deal with things differently and some people just naturally are a little bit more down than others and sometimes people like to put those emotions onto other people which is never okay be there for people as much as you can be but just remember at the end of the day someone else's like happiness or unhappiness in this case should never affect your mood or change your mood be there for them as a friend of course like that's what friends are for you need to be there for your friends if they're feeling down but try not to let it affect your own mood because that's just really unhealthy and there's only so much you can do like you can be there for your friends you can try and help them but at the end of the day if somebody's like upset or they're down about something they don't want to help themselves then you trying to help them will not help them if that makes sense but don't like use up all of your good energy on somebody else um because then it's going to start affecting you in a negative way so what to do about friends not caring about your success and always trying to outshine you this is awful this is really sad and again this is probably something i have experienced in the past um sack them off they are not friends i think if somebody is not happy for your success or they're not excited for things that you tell them or they're not like positive about things that you want to talk to them about then they are not a good friend and i've learned that over the years my two best friends that i've got now at uni sean and amber who i miss so much um they are like the best kind of example of a friend like if i've got some exciting news or i've got something i want to tell them they will without a doubt be excited for me there's never like an inkling of like jealousy within our friendship group that's just not the right way to act and i think maybe when you're younger friends don't quite know how to act when you tell them something that you've achieved or you tell them something positive that's happening in your life i think people quite often get jealous and that's really awful people should grow out of that um, and if they don't don't be friends with them you don't need them in your life i've learned that you can have friends that are literally happy for anything you tell them about and that is the way that it should be because they're your friend and they should support you my relationship feels more one-sided and i don't know what to do about it anymore that is really horrible um i'm sorry that you feel like that um obviously i don't really know any like back history about your relationship or anything but just like advice off the top of my head would be that you need to communicate with them talk to your boyfriend i'm assuming hmm could be girlfriend talk to them um and be honest with them i think honesty is the best policy in any situation ever in life if you've been honest then you've been true to yourself and you know you've done all you can do um maybe you know maybe the relationship is going a bit downhill but at least if you have spoken to them about it you've got all of your feelings off your chest then you know that you've done your part and if things don't work then you tried your best and you gave it a good shot um yeah i just think have a chat with them um and see how they're feeling see if they feel the same i'm in a long distance relationship how do i make him feel loved and know that i appreciate him that is so cute um there's loads of things you can do like long distance i suppose everyone's like struggling with this at the moment but if you're in a long distance relationship normally as well then obviously you um are gonna have to deal with this a little bit longer than everyone else in lockdown um i would just say ways to make someone feel appreciated make sure you give them a message every day like make sure you're communicating with them and talking to them whether that's like a nice little message to wake up to and just say that you're thinking about them and you hope they have a really nice day or message them in the evening and ask them like what they've been up to obviously you can facetime you could have like a little facetime date and just be like i want you to know that i um like i wish we were together and that i'm still thinking about you and um, send them a letter in the post i think that's really cute or like a little care package you could put together like a little package of some of their favorite things or write them a letter what is that yeah send them like a little parcel in the post and like let them know you're thinking about them um that is what i would do have you been in a relationship with someone who you thought was the one this is such a good question um and truthfully like yeah of course i have i think if you're in a relationship with somebody if you don't think that they are the one then why would you be with them in the first place okay worst slash most awkward date you've ever been on i absolutely love this question and i had to like think about this because i haven't had like that many awkward or like really bad dates that i could think about but then when i thought about it this one popped into my head so the most awkward date i reckon i've had i'm not going to name any names but when i was about 
I'm gonna say like 17, just turned 17 maybe. Um, I went on my first like proper date, like I drove myself um, to Exeter, which is like my nearest city. And I met this guy um, who I'd actually watched play in a band like during that summer. Um, and we got chatting online and then we decided to meet up and we went for a coffee. And I remember this so vividly and it's so funny. So we went to Costa, we went for a coffee and it was so awkward. Like I've never really been on a date before. Like I'd never like purposely gone and like actually met somebody for a drink. Um, and we got this coffee and the guy ordered a hot chocolate and it had like cream and marshmallows on it. And we were sat talking. And I remember he like drank his hot chocolate and he got like cream all around his mouth and he didn't even notice. And I was just sat there like, I just wanted to curl up in a ball and die. Like I was so embarrassed. I didn't know whether to say something to him because I was so young. I had no experience with anything like this before. Um, yeah, so that was really awkward. And then I think he like wiped it away. And then like 10 minutes later, we were talking about something else and he laughed so hard that he snotted. Snot came out of his nose and he was so embarrassed and it just made me feel so embarrassed for him. And it was just so awkward. Like, and I remember we like left that day um and i think we were like, about to go home and i gave him a hug and he was really really tall and like we hugged each other and i was just like it was just awful like it was just such an awkward day and it was so funny but you have to go through things like that um because they're just funny stories do you know what i mean like and apart from that i haven't really got any others that are like awful but that one just really stuck out in my head because it was just so funny it wasn't necessarily like a really bad date like he was really nice we stayed friends for a really long time after but we just were like yeah this is this is not gonna work <laughs> Okay, next person said, my friend really has an issue with moving on from shitty boys. We know that she deserves better. Um, honey, I think we've all been there. If any of my friends from school are watching this video, uh, they will literally be like, yeah, you can't answer this question because you do the same. I might have a bit of a reputation for doing that as well. So I'm probably not the best person, um, but I am getting better. Um, I just think it's so hard when you really think that you love someone they can do anything and you just like accept it and i know that's awful but i just think she needs to she needs to learn herself the hard way which is really crap but it's what i had to do um you just have to let her learn the hard way obviously be there for her give her advice tell her that you think she's better than these boys and that she deserves to be treated better but it's probably more of like a deep-rooted issue than anything else and i can definitely sympathize with it um i 100% have done this before in past relationships like I've been cheated on and I've gone back to them and they've upset me more than anyone could ever possibly upset me in this world and I've still gone back to them because I just had to learn that for myself I had to do it I had to have those horrible feelings I had to get that heartbreak and I've come out the other end and I'm I'm so different now like I think you just you have to learn. Yeah, she needs to learn for herself. Like she will realize one day that she's better, but at the moment you've just got to let her ride the wave, um, experience that horrible time. And she will realize in a few years, hopefully that she does not deserve that because nobody deserves to be treated like rubbish. Um, but I'm afraid sometimes we just, we allow it because we, we love someone and it's not right, but it's the way it goes. But I'm sure she will realize and if any of you are watching out here and you're like mm, yeah that definitely sounds like me please be strong please don't allow someone to treat you like rubbish um i never should have done but at the same time it's a lesson it teaches you to be a stronger person and a better person and yeah okay so this is an interesting one somebody said is it appropriate to tell a boy your insecurities early on for example trust issues from previous relationships um so this is a really good question actually. My personal opinion on this is that if you are dating somebody, you're getting to know um, someone and you have got like insecurities, which I think every single person on the planet has. Um, so it's a very normal thing to have insecurities, especially from past relationships if they didn't end well um, or if you were treated badly. I think if it comes up in conversation, of course, like let them know. You can explain like what happened in your last relationship. You can maybe talk about why you feel a certain way if you feel comfortable with that person to tell them then of course tell them but do not make it into a big issue and keep bringing it up and like using it as a excuse for things because that is when there'll be a problem and that guy that you're dating is not gonna 
want to invest any time in you or continue things further with you if he if he thinks that you're like mentally not okay or ready to move on to a new relationship and forget about what's happened in the past don't keep talking about it because you can't judge a new person on a past relationship you just can't and you will learn that i've learned that you have to see every relationship as a clean slate because it is because every single person out there is different and they're going to treat you differently and not everyone is going to treat you bad and you've just got to learn that and not let past relationships affect your new ones because you will only sabotage it for yourself um, i'm gonna answer one more question dieting and body image which is a pretty touchy subject i know so i'm not gonna like go too much into it i don't really know what you want me to say but like i guess my personal experience with it so i think every single person looks at their body a certain way um and that way that they see their body is not how other people see it and i think that's just a normal thing that girls go through that guys go through that every single person on this planet goes through you're gonna have insecurities about your body there's gonna be things that you want to change there's gonna be things that you don't like there's gonna be things that people might even comment on um because people are nasty like that but at the end of the day you are your own person and i've said this in a previous video there is literally no point like no point whatsoever in taking time out of your day to feel rubbish about yourself or to pick fault in yourself or to um like make thoughts in your head a lot worse than what they need to be of course try and be healthy and do exercise eat what your body wants you to eat um if you want to eat healthy eat healthy if you don't want to eat healthy don't eat healthy do you know what i mean it's it's really really simple and i think people overcomplicate diet and body image a lot you're your own person be you try not to listen to what other people say i know it's so much easier said than done but for like a personal example um over the last couple of weeks that we've been in lockdown i have been trying to eat a bit better not because i hate my body not because i'm trying to lose loads of weight and diet and i want to be skinny like i'm not trying to do that i'm doing it for my own like sanity i suppose i see this as a good opportunity to try something new to try and do lots of exercise and eat healthy and see if i notice a difference in the way my body looks but also the way that i feel in my body and my confidence and I'm kind of just seeing it as like a little bit of a trial um, and that's what i'm doing at the moment but i don't agree with like dieting and um cutting out foods and all this stuff i just think if you want something your body wants it give it to your body like your body knows what's best for you so listen to it um but also just try and balance things out like i am a real believer of like balance is key so whether that's like balance in your diet or balance in your lifestyle like balance in every aspect of life i think is really important i feel like i've completely gone off the topic i just think it's a really hard question and i think um there's no advice that anyone can give you that's going to change your mindset so you've just got to work on it yourself and that's all for today folks thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this um let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do any more girl talk videos like this or if there's any other like topics you want me to discuss because i could talk for hours and i'm actually starting to lose my voice a bit so i need to go and get a drink but yeah remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already i hope you're all doing super well and yeah i'll see you very soon with another video goodbye